as much as you can because we are announcing this publicly big time today. Well, thanks for coming, David. This is David Icke, uh, um, uh, another hero who uh, people, you know, but have tried to ridicule and put down. And uh, David, as far as I'm concerned, of all us abuse victims, he speaks for us. David? The word about well, it's it really great to meet you. I've been now, pushing so your video you everywhere. Oh, I know you have. Yeah. Yeah. I know you have, David. Because you're doing a great job getting uh, this stuff out. And you know, it was um, it's nearly 20 years ago now yeah. that I started to realise um, not just that this child this abuse lady. was going on her, in all its different forms, but, she's a but the scale of David. Can I can I just cut you there? Are you going to speak for us today, David? Well, I would if you want me to. Yeah. I would love you to, and I'm going to try and organise it right now, David. Thank you're you very much. It's been a pleasure. Mate. And yeah. so are you. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're great great you think going, Somebody mate. else has rolled up, and um, so I have great pleasure in handing the microphone over to somebody who I know can handle it very well. David? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I got seriously interested in the last few months, particularly, in the, uh, the gathering aspect to this child abuse and child abduction which is stealing children from loving parents by the state through the social services mafia. In the last few years they have changed the way in which they process job applications for social services. They have done this to target certain personality types and there will be mothers listening to this who've had their children taken by the state who my God will understand what I'm about to say. They are targeting, recruiting, headhunting certain character types that have no empathy, no compassion, no heart, no ability to empathize with the agony beyond my comprehension of loving parents having their children who want to be with them taken away for spurious reasons thanks to the constant conspiracy between social uh, services staff, lawyers representing uh, local councils and social services, uh, judges, etc. I think I see a way out of this. We need to come together and stop cooperating with this system. Not fight it, they want us to fight it, just a few more people on the streets with weapons then. Oh, we must, we must fight the people, there's an uprising. No. This system, whether it's child abuse, whether it's stealing children from loving parents, or whether it's bombing the innocent around the world, for political expansion and acquisition. The number of people doing it are a tiny fraction of those who are having it done in their name. The system is held together by our acquiescence. Enough! Yeah. Enough! Yeah. No more! Yeah. And I say this to the people in luminous jackets and the dark suits that administer this system and conspire too, some of them, to take children away. You have no power. Your power is not in you. It's in the uniform the state gives you to put on. Your power is in the wardrobe, not in you. Take the uniform off. Where's your power gone? Change your job. Where's your power gone? You're just animating a uniform which is an extension of the state. And... You have children and grandchildren too, and they're going to have to live in the world that you're helping to bring in. Wake up, grow up, and we need to come together, not just talk about it, but start organizing, start organizing mass non-compliance, the non-comply dance, dancing to a different drum. We're not having it anymore. And, and I'll finish on this. You know, people think, and this is how it, the system overcomes uh, the people so, so much, is people think that it's not my problem. It's not my child. It's not my freedom that's being taken away directly. It's not me having to knock on the door in the middle of the night saying we want your child. But it is. Because if we don't draw a line in the sand now, 
then it will be your child eventually. It will be you. What, what did they say? What did that pastor say? Uh, after Nazi Germany. First they came for the Jews and I was not a Jew so I did nothing. Then they came for the communists and I was not a communist so I did nothing. Then they came for the trade unionists I was not a trade unionist and I did nothing. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me. That is the road we're walking down. Anyone's injustice is our injustice. That's the only way to bring an end to this. It's time to stand up. Stand up. Enough. Time to fly and have none of this crap any longer. We get it because we take it. Thank you very much.